Sorry to Konaka, did you how? Hello everyone, welcome back. And also, Happy New Year. So this video will be released on the first of the new year. So I wanted to kind of do a look back recap for 2022 but all things Thai related, Thailand, Thai content. If you are also into Thai content, Thai stuff, Thai things, drop down your favorites for each of the ones I mentioned. For the first one, my favorite film from the year. So for this one, I've actually got two films I've put down. One was made this year, one was not made this year. The one that was not made this year, but it was the first time I watched it and it's only because I'm on Thai Netflix now so I can watch it and that is Friend Zone loved it it was so so funny it was basically about these two friends who had been friends for 10 years and they secretly loved each other but he was in the friend zone and it was just this comedy of your friend watching the friend they love date and stuff like that until eventually they both realize actually you're the person i'm looking for i liked it and the second one i watched this year was made this year the lost lotteries and that was about these winning lottery tickets that get stolen by the mafia and then the people who who own the lottery tickets trying to get it back and again it was so funny i watched it on a plane and it was like night times so people were sleeping and i was like having to like stifle my laughing it was so so good i highly recommend if you like comedies like very slapstick comedy so my favorite tv show this year was also my favorite bl this year so i combine the two and that is Kin Porsche. I can't lie, Kin Porsche has ruined me for BLs. It was so so good. The only thing that I'm looking forward to more than anything else with them guys is Manner of Death season two. That is it. I love Kin Porsche so much. For those that haven't seen it, it is basically about two mafia families warring as well as a guy who is a bartender and uh, who is uh, Porsche. So Porsche is a bartender, Kin is part of a mafia family and because of certain events they end up in each other's lives as the bartender becoming a bodyguard for the mafia guy kin and then a lot of stuff happens and you find out stuff between the two mafia families i just don't want to give spoilers because it was so so good and i don't want to ruin anything for anyone so just go and check kin porsche out for yourself my favorite thai song this year was donny by 1000 chaser fixed Siki and Yong Om love Yong Om so much. That song, I don't know why I'm obsessed. It even made my top songs for 2022 Spotify wrapped. So that's how you know I'm not, I'm not lying. One song that didn't make the wrapped, but I very, very oh, highly recommend and I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> Yom Kop Da Dam by Ratio. Again, love that song. I'll put it down below so you can check it out. Great, great song. I think both songs are in my Thailand playlist that I made in a different video which is about like different Thai songs I like which I'll put the link to below if you want to check that out and I really wanted I know it's all about Thailand but I wanted to give an honorable mention to this song which is Queen B by Van Da he is a Cambodian rapper but honestly <laughs> that song is straight fire it is straight fire obsessed moving on swiftly my favorite Thai book coming in clutch I think I mentioned these in one of my other videos, are these comic books. Like, I'm obsessed. There we go. So yeah, these are the Nanmi books. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I know they're for children, I do not care. But it's my favorite Thai book because A, they're super easy to read. The, the font, the Thai font is very legible for me. Like, it's not any funky fonts, it's just great. The stories are good, they're very ghost horror genre, gothic genre, which I really like. So yeah, I really enjoy these books. I think I've got like three or four of them. Like I've got, I think three actually. I've got this one, I've got one about a uh, school in England, one about a school in China. Because I saw both, I was like, I have to buy. <laughs> My most used Thai word, I think is, or phrase is, make up Thai. I'm joking again. But if you if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Genuinely, my, my most used Thai word is either chai or probably ka. Ka, I use it for everything. Ka, I understand. Ka, yeah. Ka, okay. Ka will do. Versatile, versatile. I use it 
for everything. Perfect. We should have something like that in English. We really should. My favourite time moment. So I think this means my favourite, I think I meant to say my favourite moment when I was using Thai. <laughs> so that would be when I was in Koh Samui. I didn't film that because I just didn't bring my camera. And I think my reason why is because whenever I was speaking Thai, no one expected me to speak Thai. So I just love seeing the shocks on their face. Like, they were so shocked, they were so happy, they were so blown away, I loved it. And I remember I used this, I was with a friend who doesn't speak Thai. So we were haggling for this taxi because the taxi prices in Koh Samui, astronomical astronomically expensive we were like haggling the price and i was speaking thai and then he was like oh you speak thai i was like i do speak thai and he was like mm, okay and then i was like talking and saying i live in bangkok and then he was like well because we were going to big buddha so he stopped at big buddha we were looking around but we didn't realize he had waited for us we thought he'd left so we're looking around looking around looking around we come back and this woman like starts speaking and saying oh yeah your taxi driver's in there in thai and i was like hold up hold up and then i realized he had told her a that we were with him and b i could speak thai and obviously we stood out because we were but with me and my friend were both mixed race so it was very obvious to know who <laughs> he he was talking about when he described us i went to one of the little shops to buy the buddha and they were like oh my god are you like mixed are you, are you half thai and then i was like no just just learned thai <laughs> i loved it it was so fun it was honestly the best i love seeing just the sheer appreciation for someone learning their language. Oh, loved it. So my most embarrassing Thai experience, so again, that means speaking Thai, and I, I'm i like 90% sure I've mentioned this story before, but this was when I was booking an appointment and I was speaking confidently. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she kept looking at me like, what are you saying? And then I realized, I kept saying, oh, can I make an appointment for yesterday? <laughs> I'd like to come yesterday. Like, I'd like to, she must have thought I was crazy. She must have been like, this is a mad woman. <laughs> because I kept saying, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I came yesterday. I'd like to, I'd like to come yesterday for my nails. Honestly, when I look back on that, I'm still like, ugh. Poor, poor, foolish child. But it's through your mistakes you learn. So I'm glad I made my mistakes. My final memory, my final memory, my final one is my favorite memory of Thailand. And there have been so many, honestly, outstanding moments in Thailand so far. I've met some amazing people, made some amazing friends, some amazing memories. Like, just to prove I'm a big scrapbooker, like this is my scrapbook of the year so far. Like just all these Polaroids, like pictures, leaf, leaflets, things, just things of like things I have done here. Like honestly, so, so much. I love it so much. But I think my favorite memory is when I got to wear traditional Thai clothes at Wat Arun and take those pictures. I'll insert some pictures for those who haven't seen them. That was hands down my favorite memory. I've never felt so beautiful, stunning, amazing as I did wearing those type of traditional clothing. And although I was hot, because it was a hot day, I couldn't breathe because it was so tight. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I was like, this is amazing. This is gorgeous. Just a sheer sort of design of the clothes, the delicate jewelry, the everything about it was stunning and being able to do it with my friends as well made it even better and having such amazing pictures of the day it was just the perfect day so that for me i think is my favorite memory of the year in thailand a hundred percent that does then mean that is how i'd like to end this video i want to end it with a big smile on my face thinking about my favorite memory so like i said put in the comments below if you can answer those questions what your favorites were and if you can't of like maybe of Thailand, like your favorite memory of Thailand, for example, because you don't live here, do your favorite memory of the year. So just change accordingly. I'd love to read your comments and see how your year went. And I'm being blinded by this light. All of a sudden, this reflection is blinding me. It's like, ah, 
spotlight. I'm taking this as a sign. 2023, the, the light, the blessings are gonna shine down on us. I'm sure this is the first day of the new year. Start strong, we're gonna finish strong. I'm wishing you all the best for this year. I truly, truly am. Drop down below if you have any resolutions or anything like that. I'd love to, love to know as well. As for me, my resolution is to be happy, to remain happy, to just keep doing things that make me happy. And hopefully everything else will follow. As always, please do press the like, the share and subscribe to your friends, to your family. Have a blessed day. But even more importantly, have a very, very, very blessed 2023. And until next time, Saudi Tukonaka, Zajian. Goodbye, everyone.